So when you get the pressure board, one of the greatest training aids, in my opinion, on how to develop a good motor pattern, how to develop sequencing, how to develop effortless power at the golf ball. I want to use the body for energy, and I want to get that energy out to the out to the ball with my arms. So I'm going to kind of go over the three skills you need to learn how to use the board when you first get it. Number one, get my stands with, and I'm going to start with a little lead side pressure. Okay. So the first skill we want to learn how to to really maximize is how to create a proper backswing, how to load in the backswing. When I see backswing issues, backswing issues always happen early in my opinion. So off the takeaway, they're snatching it, they're doing something with their arms, or they're starting to sway. A lot of bad, you know, when I see backswing problems, I always see problems start early. So when I, when I first get on the board, the first thing I'm gonna learn how to do is get the right stance width, and shoulders width is a good idea, a little lead side pressure, Skill number one, okay, I'm gonna learn how to load the backswing with rotation. I'm not gonna have any lateral motion. I'm not gonna use my upper half to shift the board. I'm not gonna sway to shift the board. I'm gonna get my setup and I'm gonna learn how to turn into my right leg. And if I turn into my right leg, you can see how that board's gonna shift automatically. So I'm gonna stay pretty centered, load in the back leg. Load in the back leg. That would be skill number one. Skill number one was loading in the back leg. Skill number two would be transition. Transition is change of direction. Backswing to downswing. So we just talked about loading the back leg with rotation. Now, the next part would be, I'm gonna move my arms back. I'm just gonna do a half swing, so I'm gonna move my arms back to nine o'clock. So I'm still rotating my back leg. Now, skill number two, shift the board. Okay, so again, you can see there's skill number two. So when my arms are around nine o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. So when my arms are around nine o'clock, the lead side's down, my knees are separated, my feet are on the ground, my body's centered, my belly button's still in the middle. So again, take it back, unload. Take it back, unload. Take it back, unload. One more time, unload. That would be skill number two. So basically skill number two is I've loaded with rotation, now I'm getting my body back to center. And a good point of reference is when my lead arm is at nine o'clock on the downswing, I'm back to center, my feet are on the ground, I'm on my lead side, my, my hips are square. Skill number one was a rotational loading pattern in the backswing. Skill number two would be the transition of the downswing, in other words, in the downswing, I unload, which I just went over. Now, skill number three is how to and how to and when to apply apply the heat in the golf ball. Okay, so that's going to be from nine o'clock through the golf ball. So I make the rotational load. I center my body. So when I'm at nine o'clock, I'm centered. Now from right here, okay, I'm already on my lead side. Here's where I need to learn how to. Post, push up, and extend. So I, I load rotational, I recenter my body, I unload my lead side. Now from right here, um, I can feel a big lever system of my body. I, I'm pushing up and extending my body through the golf ball. So again, when I'm at nine o'clock, I'm unloaded. Now from right here, I'm just gonna, like I got a string in my hands or someone's holding the club, I'm just gonna use this part of my body to push up and extend to get me in that fin finished position, and that's gonna slingshot the club through the golf ball so my speed is at and through the ball, not before the ball. So, skill number three. When my lead arm is parallel to the ground, feet are on the ground, I'm secure on my lead side, I feel like I'm just pulling, I'm, I'm rotating my body, I can feel a big squeeze in my glutes, big squeeze in the cheeks, and I can feel a big source of power with my body because my body's in position.